thought I'd do a little video today about uh, my latest acquisition off of uh, the Bay of Evil. Um, this uh, 20 line Eric Grotz Matador burner. I um, thought I'd show a few of the features up close. I'm going to clean her up today. Um, the brass is somewhat tarnished. It's in pretty good condition. Uh, got this from a feller over in the uh, UK via Sweden. <laughs> Apparently they uh, moved from Sweden and brought this with them. And what I like to use is, um, I found that works pretty good, is a semi-chrome polish that uh, the car guys use on uh, chrome. It uh, does a pretty good job of uh, removing tarnish and leaving a good uh, finish behind that. Uh, keeps the brass uh, from uh, tarnishing for quite a while. So here it is. This one, um, uh, you can see there, Matador Brenner. I guess Brenner is burner in German. It's got the gallery lift. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Plus the gallery up uh, so you can light it from below. Everything looks pretty good. There's no cracks. That's what you want to look for when you buy one of these. They split a lot of times on the uh, the gallery fingers. Um, brass for some reason will just develop stress cracks and and break. Uh, it's quite common to find these with splits in them. There's the wick adjustment knob with the two Dragons, or as some people think, seahorses. They have wings, so I tend to think they they represent dragons. But that's Eric and Grotz's uh, trademark symbol. There's the uh, all important flame spreader. Uh, a lot of times when you buy these lamps, they are missing this piece, and you got to have it for it to work correctly. that does is uh, these air holes as air is drawn up through the side draft uh, openings it goes up through the center and creates a uh, jet of air that blows the flame out to the edges and it hits this little hat section which further spreads it that's uh, the inside kind of looks like a center draft except as you can see there is no center draft tube this is a side draft burner meaning the air enters through here and goes up through the burner th thus and also through the center so there it is before I've uh, polished it I'll um, hit it with the semi-chrome and this one will be quick probably about a half hour to 45 minute uh, exercise and it should look, have it looking pretty much like new when I'm done alright took me a little longer than I thought it would but there's the finished product about an hour and ten minutes time of uh, scrubbing with the semi-chrome so uh, looks pretty much like new I didn't disassemble it fully and go after all the nooks and crevices I I'm gonna use this thing so I just wanted to get it looking halfway decent 
it turned out pretty good for something that's probably almost a hundred years old and uh, last thing I did was uh, hit all the little mechanical pivot points and the wick adjuster gallery lifter etc with some uh, some of this uh, clock oil just a little tiny bit but everything seems to uh, have loosened up a little it's pretty good the adjuster works really smoothly as does the gallery lifter uh, add a door brenner 20 line 20 line uh, Lamp guys know this, but that refers to the uh, wick size. I guess that's 20 rows of stitching wide, is how they used to calculate that. Um, like I said, the all important flame spreader when you buy one of these center drafts lamps, make sure it has this because if it doesn't, you're screwed. Um, they're hard to find. And when you do find them, people usually want pretty good money. In fact, uh, it's almost cheaper a lot of times just to buy the whole burner to get one of these. Uh, so if somebody's selling a, a burner with a stuck wick adjuster or it, it's got some splits in it or whatever. Um, but it has the flame spreader and the flame spreader is in good condition. You might want to go that route because... Uh, Because it, in, in the end, it's probably it's probably cheaper than buying just a uh, flame spreader, which I've seen go for astronomical money on eBay. So there it is. This will uh, I'll find a nice font for it and uh, get some use out of this puppy. Eric and Grotz patent date is 1895, I believe. Matador burner.